All right, last week wasn't so great. Uh, as you may have seen, I only got a bronze and a silver, but I don't consider this actual um, challenges of skill because you're against like kudos and stuff. But now we're doing a street race, which is an actual test of skill because you're actually you're against actual opponents and you just have to straight up beat them. You know, you can't try and cheese it by weaving left and right to get drift points or whatever, which I didn't actually do. Maybe I should have should have given that a, at least a little bit of a try, but whatever. Let's go for the new car, my uh, new Beetle RSI, which which will mean that I haven't um thingied yet, uh driven the same car twice, but obviously I am going to have to drive the same car more than once because this game doesn't have a very long car list which is you know nothing against the game uh particularly you know they were modeling damage and stuff um i'm just pointing out that there's not that many cars in the game and i'm gonna have to use a lot of them which i'm gonna try and cycle through though and not use the same car more than once in a row too often because i have a kind of short attention span like that and i like just to drive a lot of different cars In games like this anyway when it's like MotoGP and stuff you know I'm fine to ride the same bike for a whole season and more uh, since I was a little baby boy playing MotoGP Ultimate Racing Technology 2 I don't think I've ever ridden anything on my custom rider that wasn't a Kawasaki Ninja so that's like a good 10 plus years of me riding the same Kawasaki around the same track, so I don't have that short of an attention span when it comes to driving different cars, I just... I prefer to show off a lot of stuff, you know, and I like to vary it a lot. That's just... that's just how it is. That's why, um, you know, the TXR series, uh, when I eventually get around to playing a TXR game, um, I don't know when that'll be, at some point, when I eventually get around to playing TXR uh, and I'm driving the same car for hours and hours you know at least there's modifications you can do with that kind of thing which is nice yeah no, mustn't grumble you know can't complain too much I never really use my joker cards on this game I've just realized when you know I could easily use them in the heads up races and get like 2000 kudos easily You know, just to boost the amount that I get. Uh, next time we do a street race, I'll experiment with that. But that was the first street race done. Next one is a one-on-one. -on -one. And again, you have to fiddle with the difficulty. And uh, I'm going to get over myself and drive the MR2. I don't care too, too much about driving it. But I will put it in black. Just to so no one can see it. So it's a one-on-one -on -one with a BMW, so I don't know how much I'll actually be able to handle, so I'll just go for silver. And then, as I said, when eventually I can go through the quick race mode and unlock some better cars, like a Ferrari or something, then um, I can come back, potentially, I don't know if I actually will, but I could come back and uh, give the AI a much bigger head start and get gold, but... Chances of me doing that are pretty slim, if I'm going to be real. And once the game eventually lets me off the line, then we can have a go at catching up to our mate in the BMW. Alright, so when I was playing this game at the weekend, uh, just to check how it was, try and figure out my strat, um, I noticed that on the Panos Esperante the it that car is a convertible but the roof is up uh, but on this car and the and the BMW actually it's a convertible but the roof is down so I don't know what's up with that right, I'm carving into his lead but not quite quick enough I don't think chances of me winning this I don't know just yet if I, if I uh, get completely sideways coming down these stairs again, then we might have a bit of trouble. But at least I can see him on the screen now, so... You know, we're getting closer. 
Not much closer, but definitely closer. Oh wait, it's the final lap. Ah, oh, shit. Yep, put the difficulty too high, didn't notice till the very end. Now I have to sit there and adjust the difficulty again. And Wait, no I don't. Just don't drift. Just don't drift. Come on Joe, just don't drift. You got him, you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. You got... Bullshit. Alright, well at least now I know that I only have to take like one second off of his head start. No, I don't want to view the replay. Wrong button, wrong button. It wasn't the game's fault, I just hit the wrong button. One on one again, MR2, auto, lower difficulty by one second, and that's race. And I'll definitely get enough point drift uh, kudos to bring me up above a silver. It's a good thing that I only care about my results when it comes to racing, otherwise I'd probably get mad and sit here all night trying to beat this guy. Oh well, there's really no point bothering until you've got a good car, and... The only reason I want the focus to start doing the quick race challenges is so that I have something that's unironically 10 times better than everything else so I can just power through the first stage and then uh, pick up some better cards from there. I still don't, I'm, I'm really not, like, what little of it I played at the weekend, I really don't understand how the arcade mode works, where it's like, I'm pretty sure it's just a bunch of cone challenges, uh, like the one that I did last week in the Mercedes. I really just, I don't understand how to get above, like, bronze in those. Even, even with a Ferrari, I can't, it just doesn't make sense to me. So, maybe we can have a learning experience doing that, but I doubt I'll get to that point in this recording session. Anyway, considering, you know, how much there is to do before I actually do get to that Ford Focus. And I mean, look at that. I take I take it down by one second, and I could easily be passing him on this lap. It just... God, it really rubs me the wrong way. Because making it harder, obviously it makes it harder, but it makes it exponentially harder, if, if you see what I mean. Because you also have to gain a whole bunch more kudos in less time. Where it would make sense if, like, making it more difficult only increased the amount of kudos you had to get, or if it reduced the amount of time you had. But altering both, I think, is a bit much. And that's kind of why I don't like this. That's another reason why I don't like this system. <sighs> oh well. Level complete. New car available. I don't think there's a voice that tells you when there's a new car available in this game. Like there is in something like Downtown Run, but whatever. Alright, two street races to do in this level, which is nice. And I've unlocked the Z3, so... Beating cars in one-on-ones gives you new cars, which means this one-on-one -on -one is against a Porsche. Alright, so the Ford is, as I said in the first episode, to unlock the Ford, you have to beat it in level 3. So I could go ahead and do that as soon as I unlock level 3, which actually sounds like a pretty decent idea, because I want some, some of those good cars. Oops. Oh, great, it's this. I don't know how this works. I don't think I'll ever understand how this works. Uh, hot lap. Usually I can... Well, in the mini, I did it in less than 30 seconds, and I don't know this track, but I'm going to assume I can do it in less than 30 seconds here as well. You know, I'm just making it up as I go along. I'll probably have to restart, lowering the difficulty, as usual, but... Welcome to this kind of game, I guess. I'm just going to complete... I'm just going to continue complaining about that, uh, until I get past the initial stages of this game and actually think of something else to talk about. I think once I get to San Francisco, I should have something else to mention about the game. And then I've got a little bit to talk about um, of outside the game stuff, just like commentary to say. Um, and you know, I can talk about stuff that's going on in the game as well. I'm not terrible at commentating on game stuff. Another problem I can list with this game is uh, it's not like Ford Racing 2, where if you do a hot lap challenge, what it'll do is um, as soon as you beat the challenge, you know, it says finish, you win. You have to complete all three laps, which is dumb, because once I've, you know, beaten the challenge, I've beaten the challenge. 
I don't care about setting my own personal high score because literally no one else is going to come and play original Xbox with me. Also, I've set my target about a second too fast, I think. Although I was half a second faster than my first lap coming out of the first sector. So I don't know how I fucked up that badly, you know, out of that. And lost all that time. So maybe I'll be able to do it. Pull something out of the bag in the last lap. Could happen. It's not going to happen. No, not going to happen. If I hit restart, does that send me to a screen? No. Just restarts. Well. Guess I have to adjust the difficulty. Not my fault. It's a game. Fucking game. Lower difficulty. What did I say? About one second? Race. Jesus. Very humiliating as well. And I know that old games are supposed to be difficult like this, and they didn't care about your feelings. But it's like, come on guys, at least make it possible. You know, getting gold in these early races, apart from the actual races where you have an actual opponent who has to adhere to some actual rules, instead of, you know, a time that's pretty much completely unbeatable, there's literally nothing you can do, if you see what I mean. Oh well, I'll power through. You know, I said this was going to be a short game, I'm going to make it a short game by not caring about gold. Because most of the time, there's no point in caring about gold, because gold is literally impossible to obtain. Thank you and good night. Ah, oh, fuck me, and I've still managed to fail the challenge. Even when I give my gave myself an extra entire second to do it. How embarrassing. Really, this is just showing you how shitty of a driver I am. Either that or it's showing you that I've had literally no practice or experience with uh, PGL1. Compared to my hours and hours in a 3. Oh, there we go. Pass the challenge. Now I have to do an extra lap for literally no reason. So I can talk about how much PGR I've played uh, in my years. Uh, so PGR 4 was my first one. Um, still haven't completed it, but that's because I keep, you know, fucking around in it and doing all kinds of stuff. Just because it's a fun game and I can. You know, especially with the bikes, that was a good addition. I guess I Im improved my time, but it doesn't count for anything because I've I'd uh, already beaten the challenge, but whatever. Guess I've just got to get those kudos. Da -da. Yeah, uh, so PGR4 is my favourite. Uh, that's the one that I've played the most of. Oh, shit, an overtake challenge. Fuck me. Um, oh, well, let's give it a go. I think I should have enough time in this episode to do it. Raise difficulty to... Let's do five cars. I'm not going to try too hard. Um, yeah, PGR4 my favourite, PGR2 probably my second favourite, I've played through a lot, a lot of that, although I've played through a whole bunch of PGR3 as well, so, you know, my second place favourite PGR game would probably go to 2, I think I just prefer how 2 works to 3 for some reason, although I haven't played 3 in a while, so I couldn't quite explain what I meant by that, uh, if asked. I'd have to go and have a look back through it to try and figure out what about is it that, um, what about it is that kind of rubs me the wrong way, in a way, but there's definitely something, um, that, I, that just makes me prefer 2 better, um, and then this one's probably my least favourite. Just because of the whole, you know, level set setting. I, su I stuck my tongue out so far, it's like I did that on purpose. Uh, my level setting, my you know, my problem is the level setting thing. You know, take this challenge for example. If I set the difficulty up higher, I'd have to gain more kudos and overtake more cars. And there'd be less cars on the track for me to overtake and they'd be going faster. 
Which, yeah, great, you've upped the difficulty, but now you've made it so it's fucking impossible. Good job, fucking dickhead. Uh, bizarre creations. Sometimes I come out with something great, and sometimes they fuck it up. And you never know which it's going to be, but usually it's something great. I mean, these days, you don't have to worry about what it's going to be, because they've been completely shut down, but... Hey-oh, let's end this episode on a downer, shall we? Jesus.